Hi, it's Rick again, and in this section we're going to be looking at the remote agents. Now, remote agents can be used in an outbound or an inbound application. All it basically does, it takes the place of a live agent and allows the system to function thinking it's a live agent. So, it looks, for example, as an outbound campaign, instead of me having real agents logged into an outbound campaign and the dialer making the phone call, and then as soon as the call gets answered, being sent to a live agent to talk to the client, um, what it does is we substitute it with the remote agent. Now, depending on how we set the extension or dial plan is what the system will do. Now, we can A, have the calls forward to somewhere else as soon as it hits the campaign, or we can have it the campaign actually play a recorded message. So, let's say if we wanted to send out a message to a bunch of lists and a bunch of people, <laughs> to a bunch of people on the list, uh, then we will set a couple remote agents and it will start calling, 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 calling. As soon as they answer, we'll play the message. Now, on an inbound application, uh, we will just assign the remote agent to an inbound campaign and an in-group, which means that any phone call that comes in and is whenever it's the agent's turn, remember that we set in the campaigns and the inbound groups, we can either set it by rank or by wait times or any other number of options on how the call flow is going to go. Whenever it's that agent's turn, then it will either uh, send it to wherever we need to go, like in the inbound campaign, we can have an agent not, not logged in live, but actually be waiting for calls on the cell phone in case he was needed to be on the road. So then as soon as it would, his turn would be for a call, um, it would automatically forward to a cell phone and go ahead and keep a record of it also. So let's go ahead and go to the visa administration and go to remote agents. And we're going to go ahead and add a new remote agent. Now, the remote agent's ID has to be an existing user. So in this case, it's going to be 6,000. We're going to assign one line. So we'll make one phone call for this agent. Uh, the external extension or dial plan, we're going to use the same since we don't want it to go anywhere. We want it to stay within the system for an outbound campaign to play a record of message. Uh, we're going to make sure it's active and we're going to make sure it is assigned to the test outbound campaign. Now, once we submit it, uh, we have created a remote agent. Now, for an inbound application, uh, the remote extension, let's say, or the external extension, I'm sorry, let's say I wanted to call 9 to get the dial tone, 305-555-1212. And I wanted to make sure that this agent would be logged into the inbound campaign assigned to this, um, this inbound group. So whenever the call comes into this inbound group, this remote agent will answer whenever it's his turn and immediately forward it to this phone number. Okay, so as you see, this is how we can control the remote agents. Just assign it to the campaign and this will do the trick.